Doctors and nurses of Reddit, have you ever witnessed a couple have a child that was obviously not the father's? If so, what happened? My brother was doing his OBGYN rotation. His story is that in the first birth he assisted the woman had her husband leave the room. Seems odd these days, but he had the husband step out for the comfort of the patient. The baby is delivered and the color was not even close. Lily white parents and very black baby. She wants him to stay to talk to her husband who is about to come back and he bails on the whole situation. She was playing the odds all the way to the end. My son came out and looked really tan, my ex-girlfriend and I are pretty white. I thought for a second she cheated on me. We are now separated for different reasons unrelated to our child. And he is pasty white as hell. Got one heck of a suntan in the uterus though. Both my sons came out with barrel chests, red hair, and huge hands and feet. So they look exactly like me. My wife looks at them all loopy on drugs and says that's not my kid. The whole room went silent for a minute and then we bust out laughing. My wife has a wicked sense of humor. This might be the most wholesome post in this thread. I am seriously considering stopping reading while I'm ahead. My husband and I were visiting our friends who just had a baby, we are the godparents, and we were standing in the hallway talking to both sets of grandparents. Well, apparently the hospital has a rule that only five visitors may be present in the hallway, but the security guard had let all six of us in for some reason, and we didn't realize it. This nasty nurse comes up to us, notes that there are six of us, tells us someone will have to leave immediately, and then turns to my husband and says, oh, are you the daddy? Without missing a beat he says, that's what we're all trying to figure out here. She gets a look of horror on her face and backs away. They couldn't stop laughing. It was their first grandson and all of the nurses were amazing, except for this one who was determined to make it into a miserable experience by wielding her power at every turn. They loved it. Worked in the army hospital on FT Lewis. A woman came in for belly pain and we found out and told her she was 10 weeks pregnant. The husband at the bedside started laughing, grabbed his coat and left the room explaining to us that he had been in Afghanistan until three weeks prior. He looked back in her and just said well that's that Brittany. I always liked how classily he left her while she just silently stared off into space. When my son was born they took my blood and his for a paternity test. My wife flipped. The nurse explained that if my son came back not mine they would have to ship her off to a local civilian hospital per whatever regulation they had to follow, army hospital. She still talks about it to this day. I had a vasectomy. While chatting with the doctor, he told me about another patient. This guy had three kids and came in for the snip snip because he and his wife decided they were done having children. The doc opened up his sack and found nothing to snip. This guy was born without the ability to have any children. The poor doctor had to explain to him what happened. Imagine finding that out that way. I was born four years after my dad had a vasectomy. I am 100% verified his. Shit just happens sometimes. One of my favorite cousins just did 23 and me with her dad and discovered that they were not biologically related at all. This is especially horrible because my aunt, her mother, is one of the most ridiculously zealous and judgmental people I have ever met. She screams at the baby cousins when they don't behave perfectly, she literally threw a pocket bible at a woman in a grocery store after the woman was on the phone and said shit or something, and she likes to send me unsolicited long letters about God's plan for my life. Surprisingly, her husband is the most fun and laid-back person I've ever met. He did not deserve this or her. I learned about heteropaternal superfecundation from a friend of mine, she is a 5 feet 0 inches blonde white girl introducing me to her 6 feet 5 inches black twin. Surprises for everyone that day. That's the term for the twins in my elementary school. They were born the same day as twins and raised as brothers, but one was black as night and the other white with blonde hair. 
Not in the hospital, but a friend and his GF were on again slash off again, and she got pregnant. She swears it's his, he wants a paternity test. He moves in with her and her mom, she has the baby, take the test. Test is taking a while to come back, him and his family are over the moon with the baby, kinda forget about it. Mentions it to GF's mom one day and she says oh yeah, she didn't tell you? Came back a while ago, totally your baby. Awesome, all is well. A few months later they're moving out, and he finds the test in a box, not his baby. ETA he left, tried to stay in the baby's life but she wouldn't let him. Oh man, I'm so late to this thread. I used to work in the newborn nursery at a hospital. We got the babies right from delivery, cleaned them up, footprint them, checked vitals, etc. Dads usually came in with the newborns. This dad comes in with this baby. Dad is white, mom is white, baby is very obviously not white. The dad was very quiet standing next to this baby, watching us clean it up. He says quietly, I don't think this is my baby. You could tell he was absolutely devastated. We advised him not to sign the birth certificate until he was sure. Not sure what happened after we sent the baby back out to mom, but I felt awful for the guy. I work in anesthesia. One of my colleagues had someone vaginally deliver a baby with Steve's lunchbox tattooed above the birth canal. The OBGYN said to the father after the delivery, congratulations Steve. The guy replied that his name was indeed not Steve. Don't know if that counts. My wife is an RN slash hospital supervisor. Code yellow is the code over the intercom for security slash large male nurses needed. It rarely ever happens but every now and then over the speakers you hear a code yellow, labor, and delivery. You know the reason. When my sister had a baby my mother jumped in the way of the guys transferring the baby to NICU and wouldn't let them move. She demanded to see the doctors, the nurses, my sister, the admin staff. My plan was to lie to both sides of the family about my due date and be home with the baby before they knew. My grandmother was a nurse. Once she was assisting with delivering a baby, and the ostensible father commented that the child looked good for a premature baby. Without thinking my grandmother told the truth. That baby is not premature. So I guess I know where I get my social obliviousness from. Had a lesbian couple come in. One of them was pregnant, neither knew. Judging from all the screaming this information was poorly received. 